All right, guys, we've got another strike series boat here set up for you a little bit differently than we normally do them. This is a center console model. Um, if you come back here and take a look inside the cockpit area, you can see what we got going on here. <clears throat> right here down here in this area, this step that you would use to go to the front deck, we've, you, we've got a panel that removes from there, and that's where all the wiring harnesses and steering columns and all that goes through there, and this acts as a step to get to the front deck. And then this box that I'm sitting on right here, this is also a dry storage box. You got dry storage all inside of this box, as well as a duplicate of it on the other side underneath the other passenger seat. The back deck is set up very similar to, almost identical to the rest of the Strike Series boats we have. 38 gallon divided live well, 50 gallon fuel cell underneath the seats here. Storage on both sides and a nice big access point to all of your bilge pumps and live wells, uh, pumps and things like that. Anything you would need to get to and access and work on, just like on any Strike Series, readily available, you can get to it right there. There's a spot behind the lean post here for a small drink ice chest that you can put a drink ice chest on. Then of course we have the lean post. The lean post allows you to either sit up here and drive or to stand and drive this boat. So it's a good marsh boat if you want to be elevated and not sunk down in a traditional bass boat sense. But the front deck is set up for bass fishing. If you look up here on the front deck, we've got two big eight and a half foot rod lockers. Both those rod lockers go all the way up into the front there. We've got a huge, we've got a huge compartment here for all of your storage and tackle needs and stuff like that. And then this particular customer opted for a second live well right here in the front. So this is a pretty big live well right here in the front that's also aerated and recirculation pumps and everything else just like the one in the back. So we've got two live wells in this boat, um, but the, other than that, the, the deck system is set up pretty similar to any other Strike Series boat we've ever had, barring up the consoles in the center for the reasons that he wanted them to be there, be a little elevated uh, to fish for the uh, interior marshes. So another great design. This boat's got the, the day boxes up here in the front. We've got shallow day boxes here. It's got a tray that comes out. Take this tray out, you got a little bit more depth in there to put some stuff underneath. And another one just like it on that side. So this is great, it's right there at your feet when you put your seat pedestal in. They're right there at your feet and you can just reach down and get whatever you're using for that day. You put you a few packs of worms, some hooks, a couple of sinkers, whatever you're using that day, in your day boxes and it keeps you from having to go back in and out of your uh, main storage compartment all the time. Just a really unique uh, boat we got set up. This customer's putting his own motor on. I think he's putting a 250 Yamaha on this one, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, really neat, unique boat for a strike series. Just wanted to show it and share it with you guys today. Thanks for checking it out. All right, guys, I want to go over a little bit of a kind of a unique strike series bass boat we built for a customer. Uh, this is a 21 foot strike series, however we've got it set up as a center console. Um, and he, he wanted to do that because he wanted a bass boat layout, he wanted to be able to drive elevated because he does some marsh fishing, and he also wanted a place to put an ice chest. So if you look in the front here you can see he's got an area to put an ice chest down inside there. He also got some steps back here, if you look back my way, these steps back here, these are also dry boxes. So he's got a dry box in there got a dry box behind me here as well that also could be doubled as a seat another dry box there it's got plenty of room for somebody to sit down next to this seat if they needed to um, both of these seats that that are that are here operate on a slide so they'll come forward a pretty good bit it helps to be sitting in them and the gentleman that got this boat was not very tall so he had it come very far forward farther forward than I would like it if I were driving but it also goes back plenty far enough for somebody my size to drive it as well. This seat also has a slide on it, the passenger side back and forth. Got dry boxes on the other side just like they have dry boxes on this side, rod lockers, the same pretty much setup we have on our other Strike Series boats. Live wells in the back, 50 gallon gas tank. This one's got a 300 R uh, racing motor from Mercury on it and um, really nice design. He came up with the console, he did a CAD drawing and sent us the console. This is exactly how he wanted it to be. 
and um, really a super cool design. We're gonna go check it out and run it tomorrow morning and uh, we'll let you guys know on this post uh, what it did with that 300R on the back. How you stop it, guys? <laughs>